to the first diecast review in a really, really long time here on the channel. But today, uh, we're going to be taking a look at a car uh, that, I, that I somewhat recently uh, picked up, or was actually picked up by my friend, and uh, he was able to find it, and I couldn't because I have zero luck whatsoever, but uh, he seems to have some decent luck. But uh, here it is. It is the... Austin Sindrick 2022 Daytona 500 winner 164 scale. Uh, and this is in the winner circle line. Yes, the new winner circle line that you can find uh, at Targets near you. And man, I just gotta say, this winner circle packaging is incredible. Out of this world, I mean, it just looks incredible. Um, hanging this on a wall, it looks just amazing. Like, this sitting on my wall for the last, like, couple months, like, this just looks incredible just sitting there. Like, this packaging is just something else. So, um, I really appreciate, uh, the detail that they put into the packaging. I mean, yeah, look at that. That looks really, really neat. Um, and, and I kind of like it because it's like all of the other Authentics packagings at the top, but then you have this little bubble, and I think that's, like, that's really cool. This bubble is, like, pretty durable. I mean... I'm pushing pretty hard. I mean, yeah, I guess it's a little flimsy, but it's pretty durable at the same time, which that doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really neat looking die cast. So let's go ahead and get it out of the packaging. Now, um, when you open these Winter Circle cars, uh, obviously they are like this little like thing where you don't have to rip open the package, um, which is nice. Uh, there's obviously a certain way to uh, open the normal authentics where uh, there's not as much damage in the packaging, but of course, there's always going to be something there. Here is the race winning stat card. So, uh, these are normally only things uh, we get on 124s, and then 164s, we get the stickers. Um, but these are much nicer. Uh, they're really flimsy, but, you know, it's, it's cool to have a little card here nonetheless. Uh, so there's Austin Cindric with the Daytona 500 Trophy, Daytona 500 Champion, February 20th, 2022, Daytona Beach, Florida. There's the Daytona 500 logo and Austin Cindric. Got Winter Circle up there, and you got a nice black to red gradient up top. Here you have in the background, you can see a picture of Victory Lane there, the team celebrating. I believe here, yeah, it's the car during a burnout. But on this side, you got the Authentics logo race version. Daytona 500, Winter Circle, you got your copyright and all that good stuff. Time of race, 3 hours, 31 minutes, and 53 seconds. He started from the 5th position. Uh, the total laps were 201, meaning it was 502.5 miles, so I guess it really wasn't the Daytona 500. Um, then you have the number of cautions, 7 for 37 laps. A wreck fest, um, 2022. Uh, it was a pretty good 500. I didn't get to watch it live, uh, but I went back. And you watched it a couple times, and it's a pretty good race. Uh, Cedric, he had a good car that day. He led 21 laps, uh, so definitely was not a Mickey win. And the margin of victory uh, was by 36 hundredths of a second. Now, um, with this, uh, this was Austin Cedric's first victory. Um, uh, 2022, he was a rookie. So, this was his first win. Uh, so, let's get a good zoom in here on the die cast. So here it is on its little stand. Uh, no, I have not taken it off. I do not have a triangle head screwdriver to get it off. Um, yeah, this is really frustrating. I absolutely hate that. Uh, whatever. Uh, I wish they could have just used like a normal screwdriver and be normal about it. But no, this is Lionel Racing we're talking about. Um, so we can't do anything normal. Um, but this is a really, really good looking die cast. I gotta say, so... For Daytona standards, I mean, obviously, you have the red, white, and blue confetti. I mean, that's pretty much a given on any Daytona winner. And, uh, you know, it. I think it just works on this car. I mean, you look at this car, it it has a name. Like, you can you can look at this from afar, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's, that's the Cinder 500 winner. This car, it's already really well known, and I think that's really cool. So... Uh, Cindric got his first win here, obviously, like I said before, uh, in Daytona. So let's take a closer look at the diecast. So, yeah, on the left front, the Goodyear logo is way off. 
uh, way like on the hood. Uh, they got NASCAR Cup Series number two, Discount Tire, Auto Trader, Freightliner, and Menards. Got a little bit of uh, scuffage back here uh, on the left rear. I believe that's where he made contact. Uh, coming the line, I think Bubba Wallace finished second in this race. Uh, so that's where he would have made contact with him. Uh, so you can see that kind of mark there, uh, which is a really cool detail. Um, well, obviously, it's on the race when it's going to be in detail. Whatever. Um, you get the point. But, like like I said, Winter Circle, it's great to have it back. I mean, uh, look at the packaging here. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of annoying. Like, the cards kind of slip out really easily. I mean, you look at this, there's no real place for the card to sit. Other than, like, in this little slot here, which, I mean, you know, if you're displaying it outside the package, then, I mean, I guess that's fine. Look up to the camera, I can't do this. Right, there we go. Um, but, like, you know, that looks fine. I mean, if you're displaying it in the package, though, then you have a whole problem where you can't really, um, this doesn't stay in place. So, um, you know, I think they've upgraded that a little bit to have a little more room for it. Um, but nonetheless, I'm rambling way too much here, guys. Uh, you got discount tire back here. Let's get you taken care of. You got the number two and the Ford taillights. You have the red spoiler right there as well. You got the diffusers here. The first super speedway race that the diffusers were used on with the Gen 7 car. That looks really cool. You had a lot of dirt and grime down there by them. Along with a couple pieces of confetti and the rookie stripes. On to the right side of this die cast. Uh, it's pretty plain, except for some... You know, it's just it's just got some good markings on it. Um, yeah, Take a good look there. And, you know, it's nothing crazy. Um, but you can definitely tell that there is some rubber markings there. Uh, it looks like you got a bit of a, a bubble in the paint back here, maybe? Kind of. Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. And you see, you see what I'm seeing here? This little, like, circle thing? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, but anyways, yeah, oh, the Freightliner logo is all wonky. Holy. Um, yeah, that's... Wow. <laughs> that's... Wow. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, the side are just... Good dirt and grime on it. Yeah, there's... Other than that, there's not too much going on here. Got a couple pieces of confetti. And, uh, yeah. So, onto the front of the die cast. You can see some good dirt as well. You know, Cendric, you know, I, I want to see him win a bit more. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Win your first race. Um, well, not your first race, but, like, you get the point. Your first race is a full-timer. Uh, do that, it's pretty cool. So, uh, this is just one of those things, I, I don't know, like, this car in the Gold Series hasn't gotten rare, um, you know, maybe it will in Winter Circle, I, I, I don't know, normally the Authentics version of cars don't really go anywhere in terms of rarity, um, I don't know, I could see this one maybe doing that, um, just because it was like the first wave back and like it's the Daytona 500, so I I, I guess I could kind of see this spiking up in popularity, but I don't know. If you if you want it, um, you know, and you see it in stores, obviously go ahead and pick this up. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, these these Winter Circle Carters, just uh, something really cool that we just got back here in 2023. Uh, and we four that got announced, I want to say like two weeks ago, uh, is starting to have the 2023 race wins in it. So. Uh, that's really, really neat. I'm excited to see if I can find that. Doubt I will, but, you know, we'll find out sooner rather than later. But, uh, yeah, this is a really cool-looking die cast. The Austin Cendric 2022 Discount Tire Daytona 500 winner. And, uh, yeah, that's definitely one you guys are going to want in your collection, I think, later on down the road. So, that is going to wrap it up for today's die cast review. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.